Don't you even want to see them? I'm sure that they have forgiven you. They are the only ones I need forgiveness for. Do you think there's still a chance that you could still have some feelings left for me? I don't love you anymore. What are you hiding there, Giorgio? I just want you to know that Naomi is innocent as well, Natalia. Ah! Ah! And just like you, you were both used by Dr. Paulina. Oh! First, you tried oh. to kill her. And something went wrong. And then, after that, you paid someone to do it, but then he failed. Why would you do such a thing for me, Nico? I just didn't want you to get hurt. I hope you understand that. It doesn't seem like Nico's lying to us. You're starting to wonder why I spend so much time with you. I realize that I feel responsible for you somehow. If Nico is telling us the truth about Naomi, it means that Naomi herself will go up against Paulina. So then what am I supposed to do now? Why don't you just focus all of your energy on the person who poses the biggest threat to you? What can I do for you, Naomi? I'm here to tell the truth. And the person who will become your mortal enemy's greatest weakness. That's Giselle. Is this why you haven't been returning my call, Stefano? Because of this wretched girl? Stop making a scene. No! Because this little witch has gone too far Adriana. this time and had enough! Adriana! I'm so excited about your sudden change because you're not a loser anymore. No one has any right to harm you. Are you okay? Please sit down first. Do they harm you? Do you feel okay? I'm okay now, doctor. I'm sorry that I'm the reason why you and Adriana had a fight. Why are you smiling, doctor? It's nothing, because I realized you call my daughter just Adriana. Well, I'm sorry about that too, Doctor. Is it Giselle? Is Giselle the reason why you never answered my question? It's not that. It's because I don't love you anymore. And besides, Many years have gone by already. You told me the two of you are just friends. But then I could also feel that you and Giselle regard each other as more than just friends. Adriana, my dear, where have you been? I was so worried about you the entire time. I'm sorry, Mother. I just went to go see Stefano. Did you know that Paulina hired him to become their new image model? Since when? Giselle, I feel so happy for you. I'm so excited about your sudden change because you're not a loser anymore. No one has any right to harm you. What you did was right. You mustn't let them hurt you. She told me about what her boss, who's a dermatologist, had offered her. Danica, if possible, don't talk about what's going on between me and Giselle. Because you don't even know us. You don't know what Giselle and I had gone through. I'm sorry. I really don't know, Mom. And what's worse is that he and that idiot Giselle work together now. It's as if they're all together to work against us. Aren't you even going to think of some other way to stop Adriana, them, Mom? It's better if you just ignore them. I don't know what made me do such a thing. I just went and did it. Because all throughout your life, you have suffered from so many things because of that scar on your face. Your real parents have abandoned you. Your adoptive mother abuses you. And the head has never stopped hurting you until now. But you see, Mom... That's enough. Don't add to my problems, Adriana. 
And one more thing, will you stop going out so much? I can't stop worrying about you. It's now time for you to fight back. You must fight back. <laughs> Mommy. I'm really sorry. I promise I won't do it. And I'm sorry too, sweetheart. I raised my voice at you again. I understand why you did that, Mom. And besides, it really is my fault. They only see one thing different with me. This scar marked my place in this world. Hey, it's Scarface! 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 Everything's for her? All for this ugly child here? This ugly and Stop that! Miranda! You're the snow around my neck! Don't hurt the child! What's wrong with you? Hey, look at Scarface. Hi, She's Scarface. She's all grown up and sexy. Whoa. <laughs> you're too pretty to be collecting hogwash. <laughs> stupid! <laughs> you're a very stupid girl! Mother, stop! Because <laughs> all throughout your life, you have suffered from so many things because of that scar on your face. Your real parents have abandoned you. Your adoptive mother abuses you. And the Hereras never stopped hurting you until now. Please! No, madam! No, I don't want to go to jail! Madam! Madam! Help me, Calvin! Calvin! Help me! No! Calvin! Calvin, help me, please! It's now time for you to fight back. You must fight back. If I have this scar removed, will my life change for the better? Natalia? What is it, Christy? There's somebody here to see you. Who is it? Um, doctor? Yes. Remember what you had offered me? That you can make me beautiful? Yes, what about it? Please step inside my office. What can I do for you, Naomi? I'm here to tell the truth. I've decided to accept it. Good. Very good, Giselle. Very, very good. Excuse me, can I ask you something? What is it? Uh, do you know where the office of the director is? Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't know where it is. You see... I wanted to sell him one of my kidneys. From what I've heard, this hospital is into that trade, is that right? Is it true? Don't you have a middleman? A middleman? Why, do I need one? Now that you've signed the papers, you are immune to any possible lawsuits. 
Isn't Dr. Claudia coming? No, I already called her up. She's not feeling well. Miss Malandrino, you might be more comfortable talking about this with your lawyer present. We're willing to wait for her. No. I'm sure of what I'm going to do. And I want to finish this as soon as possible. Hey. So what happened? Did she reprimand you? Uh, no, everything's fine. I just said something to Dr. Polina. What did you tell her? I have agreed for her to do my surgery. Was it because of what happened earlier? Because of so many things. Would you look at that, Brittany? The little deer has finally fallen into my trap. And soon, the unknowing mother, who's looking for her. You have a way of setting a trap, Olina. The promise of beauty. I hope that someday I could fall into that trap so I'd become more fabulous than I'm now. Can't you think of anything else to do but to make side comments on my plans? This is just between you and me. I know someone who can help you out. You see that guy over there? He's falling in line to sell one of his kidneys. It's a small sacrifice for a large amount of money. If you like, I can introduce you to my middleman so you can have your own agent. Okay. That's fine by me. By the way, my name's Ro. Andres Juliano. I live in the slum area in the next district. If you need anything, just look me up over there. Thanks a lot. Sure. Now, are you ready to give us your statement? I went to see Dr. Paulina Marciano to undergo a liposuction procedure. But she turned me down. She suggested that I go to Dr. Natalia Lustigo. But she gave instructions for me not to tell anyone, especially Dr. Natalia, that I was taking antidepressants. I was not informed that I shouldn't be taking that medication if I were to undergo the procedure. That's why Dr. Paulina is really at fault here. And she doesn't even care if I die because of it. I'm very good with my side comments and you know that. And I'm not tactless. That's why until now, I am free to spew out my dark thoughts anytime. Mm. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Hello? Doctor, I'm sorry, but Naomi is making decisions without my knowledge. I was just informed that she withdrew her first statement. She went straight to the Herreras and she confessed that you were the one who told her not to tell Dr. Natalia that you're taking antidepressants. How could you let this happen, Counselor? Huh? Bolina? We need to act fast, Brittany. I won't allow them to get ahead of me. This should go over here. Here on my head to cover my face. Hey, don't you ever cover your face. Because you are very beautiful, my child. Hmm? <laughs> Father? I hope that you won't get mad with what I'm about to do. Mother? What are you doing here? I heard about it. You agreed to have the surgery? <laughs> yes, I did. That's good! Look at that! You were going to say yes after all! You had us waiting for so long, you silly child! You know, once you've become beautiful, you might become a celebrity just like Adriana. This is going to be a great gift for your birthday. You'll finally be beautiful, right? 
And then I heard that there are plans of a grand birthday celebration for you by Dr. Paulina, just for your birthday. <laughs> oh, look at that. It'll make you feel special. <laughs> you know, I'm very sure. If your father were alive today, he would be really very proud of you. So this is it then? Yes, with a new statement. We took into consideration Naomi's retraction of her previous statement. I'm sorry for the things I told you the other day. I'm sorry too, Calvin. I shouldn't say things that will overwhelm you. It seems Giselle is doing well. In a few weeks' time, I'm sure that she'll be very proud of her new face. Oh my! I think this is going to be a grand revelation to everyone for sure. With Giselle having gone through a lot of hardships in her life, now she will have her revenge. Thank you very much for all the help that you gave me. Thank you for telling the truth, Naomi. Don't worry, I'll be the one to take care of your case. Take a vacation first. You deserve it. Thank you so much, Doctor. And for the vacation, too. <laughs> Good morning, Mother. Good morning. What's wrong, Mother? I don't know. I don't feel too good. I feel like I'm dizzy. Maybe it's because of Tatiana. She's still around and I get irritated. Mother, until now you haven't patched things up with Aunt Anna? Never. I will never reconcile with that witch. Let's not waste time talking about her. What do you want from me? I'm so happy you were able to solve your case. You didn't disappoint me. I was just lucky, Mother. A lot of people helped me out, including Nico. Oh, I remember that boy. So, what happened? Where are he and Naomi now? They're out of the country, taking a vacation. But I was able to talk to Nico about Father, after Naomi had given her statement. Hmm. So what did he tell you? You don't have to worry. I just wanted to know something about Giorgio. Aren't you satisfied about the trouble you caused? My father and Aunt Natalia are separated now. You got what you wanted. I don't want trouble, Kaloy. And I have no plans of ruining your life. I already told you my name is not Kaloy. It's Calvin! All right, Calvin. I have discovered something about your father. He told me that. He heard that Aunt Anna had arrived home from another country, and that the two families haven't seen each other in a long time. Well, we were never that close to them anyway. 
I know that. That's why Nico is reminding us that we also have other relatives. Don't be rude. Listen to what I'm saying. I don't need to know anything. All I know is that my father took care of me when you abandoned us. Can't you be a little smarter? You were smart when you were young. Calvin, your father is running an illegal racket inside this hospital. That's what you need to find out. What are you talking about? Stay away from me! You know, I never stopped you from talking to them. And yes, socialize with them if you want to. My daughter is my priority now. I need to give all my attention to her. Don't be too sure. This could only be the calm before the storm. Okay. I have to go. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> You're really a persistent old lady, huh? What do you want from me? Remember what I told you last time, Manolo? And what is that? That your wife and daughter want to see you. And I think now is the right time. You can make amends with your dear wife and daughter if you want. You better make sure that you'll do a clean job, okay? You must not fail me. You better go. My son is here. Dad, who was that? Oh, him? Uh, somebody from our supplier from China. He just brought me some documents that I needed to sign. Will you remove that portrait from the wall? Uh, yes, sir. Excuse me. Oh, why? I don't think your Aunt Natalia is coming back. She doesn't believe that I could change. Even Stefano left us. Have you missed these nuts, Manolo? Get out of there. Leave. <clears throat> I want to go and see Claudia first. Done. Dad, there's something you need to know. Carl and I saw each other at the hospital. Carl? He said there are illegal rackets taking place in the hospital. Did he tell you what they were? No, he didn't. Are you sure that's the only thing he mentioned? Yes. Why, Dad? Nothing. I just thought about what other stories or rumors he could be spreading. You don't believe a word he's telling you, right? No, I don't. Good. All right, sir. All right. Thank you. Stefano. Can I talk to you for a minute? How did you know where to find me? Stefano, will you please stop this? Come back home. I prefer my freedom. I will not go back to that house. But father needs us right now. Wait a minute. I'm gonna get some milk. Wait a minute, I'll go get you a glass, oh, Mom. no need. Huh? 
Mom! Mm. What are you doing? The prim and proper Dr. Natalia Herrera is drinking from a milk carton? Mm. Oh, come on, Mother. What will other people say about you? Mm. Don't tell your grandmother about this. She hates it. Of course not. But does Father know that you have a habit like that? Yes. I don't know if he still remembers it. I'm sure he'll survive. With a bad attitude like that, he can live without me. Come on, why don't you talk to him first? No. Stefano. I already told you. I am never going back to that house. Manolo? Claudia! Boss, I have Carl with me. Good. You already know where to bring him. Yes, boss. Tatiana! Yes? What happened, Manolo? Uh, I don't know. I think she got dizzy. Call a doctor! Somebody call a doctor! <laughs> Let's make her sit down first. Uh, Natalia, it's your mother. What happened? I want everything special and grand for the party and the launch of Giselle as my new endorser, okay? Okay, doctor, no problem. Um, do we already have the pegs for the look and the dress? Yes, doctor. Here are the pegs our stylist sent for approval. Hmm, I don't like that. This one, it looks better. Doctor? Didn't I tell you I didn't want appointments today? Doctor, it's because... I'm sorry, Doctor, but this is urgent. Excuse me. Excuse this. Problem this time, Counselor. Naomi already dropped the charges against Dr. Natalia. Now, she is going to sue you for malpractice because you told Naomi a lie. Naomi is now on Dr. Natalia's side. Kelvin, where did you go? I went to see Stefano, Dad. 
I talked to him, and I tried to convince him to come home. Why did you do that? That's just going to make your brother more arrogant. What's the matter with you, Giselle? That's not the way to do it. That's not what I taught you. Come on, why don't you watch again? This is the way to do it. You got that? I don't think I can do it that way, Miss Brittany. <sighs> My goodness, Giselle. You know what? If I were chosen as the image model, I'm very sure that the other models or beauty queens don't stand a chance against me at a beauty contest. You know that she's right, Giselle. You must do your best so that the guests would appreciate you more. Don't waste your newfound beauty if you can't make boys notice you. <sighs> Kelvin, I'm sorry. I know that you only wanted to help, and you did this for the good of our family. But I can manage my affairs. I'm sorry. She's right. You know what? The cute men out there might get attracted to me instead. They will all want my number. And to think I'm not yet ready. You know, I don't want any commitment. Oh, really? Stop your delusions, Brittany. Besides, nobody would want to commit to you. <laughs> And if those men had a choice, they wouldn't come within a one-mile radius of you. <laughs> Thanks, sunshine. Just eat your snack and let us finish. Again, Giselle. Now watch your posture. Hey. Where have you been? Why does your face look crumpled? Did you go to a funeral? Doctor, what happened to you? Natalia's filing charges against me. But how could that happen? Adriana! Doctor, how is my mother? Dr. Herrera is already stable, but she has to stay here for palliative treatment. Pain management? What is my mother's illness? You don't know yet? No, I don't. Dr. Claudia has stage four lymphoma. I'm sorry. Excuse me. <sighs> What do you want from me? Huh? <laughs> yes, boss. So how's it coming along over there? We're okay. <laughs> Guess what? This guy's been spying on you. We found some documents in his car. A list of our transactions. Stealing my wife from me was not enough for him. And now he wants to meddle with my businesses. Doctor? Can't get any sleep, Giselle? Yes, Doctor. Are you anxious about tomorrow? Are you excited about the launch? I feel bothered by what's happening to you. These are just sleeping pills. Tomorrow's gonna be a long day. Doctor? Are we still pushing through with the launch? What about the court case? Is there anything you want us to do? We can shoot him now if you want. Or we can poison him. It's better we get rid of him already, boss. Let me go! 
Let me go! I have an idea. We are going to end this. The same way it all started. I'm going over there. I want to be the one to finish that animal. Okay, boss. Get your hands off me! <laughs> Who are you talking to, huh? Don't bother thinking about it, Giselle. My lawyers will be the ones to handle it. It's better if you rest and go to sleep early. Because tomorrow, we will expect to see the Herrera family. The resurrection of two people, whom the Herreras always put down. Sweetheart, Adriana? Mommy, our driver is here. Maybe you should go home first. No, Mommy, I'm staying with you. Listen, sweetie, you can always come back tomorrow. Okay. Bye, Mommy. Amelia? Let me go! Let me go! You didn't even think of what other people would say about us! Everyone knows about your other women! I took you back even after what you've done to me and then you'll just betray me again! Huh? You betrayed me again! Claudia! Claudia! It hurts! Claudia, you might lose the baby! Don't touch me! Let me go! Let's go to the hospital! Come on! <laughs> so, how bad is it? Why are you crying? Mother... Mother... Mother, you have cancer. I see. Terminal stage lymphoma. Mother will take all the treatments, clinical trials, we will fight this illness. You will get better. We'll go to different countries. 
We will look for the best doctor there is. You will get better. My child. Believe me, I've, I've tried. I tried. Why didn't you even tell me, Mother? I have my reasons. Mother. But I'm your daughter. Why did you keep it from me? Because you thought that I couldn't take it? No. No. It's not that. It's just that... I've already done... a lot of bad things to you. I know I was not a good mother when I was well. I don't want to be a burden to you anymore. I always miss this person. Your grandmother or Calvin? The more that I won't forgive Carl. He ruined our family before, and then he's even going to ruin the family I have now. Why are you nice to me all of a sudden? As soon as I got to know you better, I realized that you're not only beautiful, but a good person. No one could be as evil as you, Tatiana. You may still be alive, but your soul's already as rotten as a corpse. You know what? This party is a really good idea, my friend. Nobody even mentioned about the malpractice suit. A lot of people are so quick to have amnesia. You are beautiful, Giselle. And you must use your beauty to get revenge against the people who had hurt you.